Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about the scope of triggers and how triggers fire within Oracle Forms. And now, the scope of triggers is a very important concept because a lot of people get confused and they'll put a trigger on an item or a block or at the form level and then they'll get confused as to why it fired or why it didn't fire. So I'm going to try to clear that up in this video. Now there are three, a, a trigger is a PLSQL block of code that executes when an event fires. Now events can fire at different levels. So if I'm in this field, the EMPNO field, and I hit the tab key, the key next item event will fire. If I'm at a block, there are those same key triggers can be defined at the block level, and they can also be a, a, assigned at the form level. So I'm going to create a, a very quick little demo just to show you triggers firing at different levels. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the EMPNO field, and I am going to put in a key next item trigger. Again, that's when the, the tab key is hit. So, when my PLSQL editor comes up, I'm going to just say a message. Message, uh, I am a item level trigger. Now, one of the important things you got to realize is I've just taken away the default functionality of the key next item field. So in, in key next item, what would normally happen when I hit the tab key is it would run the next item procedure, which would bring you to the next item. So what I need to do here is put in next item. Okay, so not only will I show this message, I'll go to the next item. Okay, so now I'm going to just copy that because I'm going to need that in a second. So now I want to create that same trigger, but I want to put it at the block level. Now, when I put the trigger at the block level, it's going to fire any time the key is pressed, the, the tab key is pressed, and there is no item level trigger. So when I fire the emp, when, it, when I put it at the block level and I hit the tab key on emp name, it's going to fire. But when I hit the tab key on EMP no, it's not going to fire because there's already an item level trigger that will fire in its place. So now I want to go to the block, the EMP block, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put, go down here to key next item. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste this code in to say I am a block level trigger. Okay, I'll compile that real quick to make sure I didn't screw anything up. And now I want to create the form level trigger. So the way it works now is if I'm on the EMP no field and I hit the tab key, it's going to fire the item level trigger. If I'm on the EMP name or the DEP no field, it's going to fire the block level trigger. But if I'm down here in the, the second block, the DEP block, nothing's going to fire because I haven't defined a trigger that's within the scope of these keys down in this block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a form level trigger and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go down to key next item. I'm going to paste that same code in I had before and this time I'm going to create I'm a form level trigger. Now while I'm here at the form level trigger there's one thing I want to talk about real quick and that's suppressing the key triggers. There's a lot of times when there's a lot of the keys within Oracle Forms that you just don't want your user to have access to. And the way around that is to come up here and create form level triggers that have a behavior different than the default behavior of that key. So for instance if I put in just the word null here then this key next item trigger at the form level will not fire unless there is a block or a field level trigger um, there to fire. So let me run this program so that we see what we've got. I'm going to go to run form. Okay, so now I have my form up on the screen and I want to get it positioned so that we can see the message down at the bottom. So now when I'm on the EMP no field and I put in a value and I hit the tab key, it says, I am an item level trigger because we created an item level trigger on EMPNO. Now you notice that because we put the next item function in, it went to the next item. So now when I put something in EMP name and hit tab, it says I am a block level trigger. That's because there is a block level trigger at this block, but there is no item level trigger on this item. And so when I'm at EMPNO, I should also see the I'm a block level trigger. So now, when I go down to the depth no field, down here in this other block, it's going to fire the form level trigger, because again, I don't have an item level trigger on depth no. I don't have a, item, a block level trigger 
on the depth block and but I do have a form level trigger on at the form level so when I put in department one and hit tab it says I am a form level trigger so that's the basics of trigger firing scope now there's a lot more to triggers and triggers is one of the most important things of Oracle because it's what gives Oracle forms its functionality but there's a lot of those topics we'll talk about in other videos